Hi, and welcome to Meditating the Word. I'm so glad you joined us. We're reading the entire Bible this year in chronological order. If you'd like to download a copy of the reading plan, just go to blueletterbible.com. You'll find a link in the notes. The translation I'm reading from is the World English Bible, but feel free to follow along in your favorite translation. Would you do me a huge favor and subscribe to this podcast? You can subscribe on your favorite podcast platform and on YouTube. That will help others find this podcast. This is Day 43. Today, we're finishing up the Book of Moses with Chapters 39 and 40. The Second Book of Moses, commonly called Exodus, Chapter 39. Of the blue, purple, and scarlet, they made finely worked garments for ministering in the holy place, and made the holy garments for Aaron, as the Lord commanded Moses. He made the ephod of gold, blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen. They beat the gold into thin plates, and cut it into wires to work it in with the blue, the purple, the scarlet, and the fine linen the work of the skilled workmen. They made shoulder straps for it, joined together. It was joined together at the two ends. The skillfully woven band that was on it, with which to fasten it on, was of the same piece, like its work of gold, of blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen, as the Lord commanded Moses. They worked the onyx stones, enclosed in settings of gold, engraved with the engravings of a signet, according to the names of the children of Israel. He put them on the shoulder straps of the ephod, to be stones of memorial for the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. He made the breastplate, the work of a skillful workman, like the work of the ephod, of gold, of blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen. It was square. They made the breastplate double. Its length was a span, and its width a span, being double. They set in it four rows of stones. A row of ruby, topaz, and beryl was the first row. And the second row, a turquoise, a sapphire, and an emerald. And the third row, a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a chrysolite, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in gold settings. The stones were according to the names of the children of Israel, twelve according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, everyone according to his name for the twelve tribes. They made on the breastplate chains like cords of braided work of pure gold. They made two settings of gold, and two gold rings, and put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. They put the two braided chains of gold in the two rings at the ends of the breastplate. The other two ends of the two braided chains they put on the two settings, and put them on the shoulder straps of the ephod in its front. They made two rings of gold, and put them on the two ends of the breastplate, on its edge which was toward the side of the ephod inward. They made two more rings of gold, and put them in the two shoulder straps of the ephod underneath, in its front, close by its coupling above the skillfully woven band of the ephod. They bound the breastplate by its rings to the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue, that it might be on the skillfully woven band of the ephod, and that the breastplate might not come loose from the ephod, as the Lord commanded Moses. He made the robe of the ephod woven work, all of blue. The opening of the robe in the middle of it was like the opening of a coat of mail, with a binding around its opening that it should not be torn. They made on the skirts of the robe pomegranates of blue, purple, scarlet, and twined linen. They made bells of pure gold, and put the bells between the pomegranates around the skirts of the robe, 
between the pomegranates. A bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, around the skirts of the robe to minister in, as the Lord commanded Moses. They made the tunics of fine linen of woven work for Aaron and for his sons, the turban of fine linen, the linen headbands of fine linen, the linen trousers of fine twined linen, the sash of fine twined linen, blue, purple, and scarlet, the work of the embroiderer, as the Lord commanded Moses. They made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold and wrote on it an inscription, like the engravings of a signet, Holy to the Lord. They tied to it a lace of blue to fasten it on the turban above, as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus, all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting was finished. The children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so they did. They brought the tabernacle to Moses, the tent, with all its furniture, its clasps, its boards, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, the covering of the ram skins dyed red, the covering of the sea cow hides, the veil of the screen, the ark of the covenant with its poles, the mercy seat, the table, all its vessels, the showbread, the pure lamp stand, its lamps, even the lamps to be set in order, all its vessels, the oil for the light, the golden altar, the anointing oil, the sweet incense, the screen for the door of the tent, the bronze altar, its grating of bronze, its poles, all of its vessels, the basin and its base, the hangings of the court, its pillars, its sockets, the screen for the gate of the court, its cords, its pins, and all the instruments of the service for the tabernacle, for the tent of meeting. The finely worked garments for ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did all the work. Moses saw all the work, and behold, they had done it as the Lord had commanded. They had done so, and Moses blessed them. Chapter 40 The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, On the first day of the first month, you shall raise up the tabernacle of the tent of meeting. You shall put the Ark of the Covenant in it, and you shall screen the Ark with the veil. You shall bring in the table and set in order the things that are on it. You shall bring in the lampstand and light its lamps. You shall set the gold altar for incense before the Ark of the Covenant and put the screen of the door to the tabernacle. You shall set the altar of burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting. You shall set the basin between the tent of meeting and the altar, and shall put water therein. You shall set up the court around it, and hang up the screen of the gate of the court. You shall take the anointing oil, and anoint the tabernacle and all that is in it, and shall make it holy, and all its furniture and it will be holy. You shall anoint the altar of burnt offering with all its vessels and sanctify the altar, and the altar will be most holy. You shall anoint the basin and its base and sanctify it. You shall bring Aaron and his sons to the door of the tent of meeting and shall wash them with water. You shall put on Aaron the holy garments and you shall anoint him and sanctify him that he may minister to me in the priest's office. You shall bring his sons and put tunics on them. You shall anoint them, as you anointed their father, that they may minister to me in the priest's office. Their anointing shall be to them for an everlasting priesthood throughout their generations. Moses did so, according to all that the Lord commanded him. So he did. In the first month, in the second year, on the first day of the month, the tabernacle was raised up. Moses raised up the tabernacle and laid its sockets 
and set up its boards, and put in its bars and raised up its pillars. He spread the covering over the tent and put the roof of the tabernacle above it, as the Lord commanded Moses. He took and put the covenant into the ark, and set the poles on the ark, and put the mercy seat above on the ark. He brought the ark into the tabernacle, and set up the veil of the screen, and screened the ark of the covenant, as the Lord commanded Moses. He put the table in the tent of meeting, on the north side of the tabernacle, outside of the veil. He set the bread in order on it before the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. He put the lampstand in the tent of meeting, opposite the table, on the south side of the tabernacle. He lit the lamps before the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. He put the golden altar in the tent of meeting before the veil, and he burned incense of sweet spices on it, as the Lord commanded Moses. He put up the screen of the door to the tabernacle. He set the altar of burnt offering at the door of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting and offered on it the burnt offering and the meal offering as the Lord commanded Moses. He set the basin between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water therein with which to wash. Moses, Aaron, and his sons washed their hands and their feet there. When they went into the tent of meeting, and when they came near to the altar, they washed, as the Lord commanded Moses. He raised up the court around the tabernacle and the altar, and set up the screen of the gate of the court. So Moses finished the work. Then the cloud covered the tent of meeting, and the Lord's glory filled the tabernacle. Moses wasn't able to enter into the tent of meeting, because the cloud stayed on it, and the Lord's glory filled the tabernacle. When the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward throughout all their journeys. But if the cloud wasn't taken up, then they didn't travel until the day that it was taken up. For the cloud of the Lord was on the tabernacle by day, and there was fire in the cloud by night in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journeys. Father God, thank you for your word. I'm struck by the words over and over that Moses did as you commanded. May we be as faithful as your servant Moses the man you knew by name, and the man you revealed your name to. Thank you, Father, that we have the same privilege of speaking with you face to face, just as Moses did. May we never lose sight of what a gift that is. Amen. I'd like to invite you to join our Facebook community and share your thoughts about today's reading. I put a link in the notes. If you enjoy these episodes, it would mean a lot to me if you would rate and review this podcast. Again, thank you for joining me as we read the Bible in a year. I can't wait to see you tomorrow as we continue our journey. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.